The man who very well might become the world number one one day. Immense promise. It's important to enjoy the life. One big, one big, one big. It's my first time in Miami. It's a little bit shy. He wants to be number one. The world number one leading the way behind a man who very might, very well might become the world number one one day. Now there it is. The first set belongs to the Spaniard. Six games to three they've been playing for just 34 minutes. By six games to three. Hello, good morning. We just woke up. We're going to do a little training. This is my coach, Geoffrey Portas. We're waiting for a ride. Not everything is as charming as things seem on TV. We spend a lot of time waiting. The car should arrive in five minutes. Most likely, we'll be late. The coach spends lots of time with me. Besides spending many hours training, we hang out a lot when we're not on the court. For example, we stay in this hotel sleeping together, but not in the same bed, but in the same room, because it is important to relate with one another. If you can build a good relationship with your coach, you can become a better player. Of course, traveling alone is more complicated. It's much better traveling with someone you trust and you can share thoughts. For example, with my coach, we talk about other subjects besides tennis. In my side bag, I carry gifts, a hat, balls, strings. And I love my CD player. This, this is a gift from last week's tournament. I don't know why it's still in here. This is a new Spanish singer. I always listen to him. I usually listen to this. When you travel, it's important to bring music with you, since there aren't many things to do. With music, time flies. Americans, I like to listen to Brian Adams and Bon Jovi. But then again, this Spanish singer has become the latest trend, and many listen to him. Here's the car. Obviously, after waiting here for so long, our ride is not on schedule. Hopefully, we won't be late for training. Left, left, I think left. Our ride finally came though, we're running really late. It's the second time this has happened. Not this ride, but the next. We have to get to a bridge, go straight, then we have to cross the bridge to the other side. We're running a little late. Well, we're definitely going to be a little late and we might have a hard time getting a court to train on. Although it's not that critical as we have been training hard these past days. Oh well, a light warm-up won't hurt us. What can you do? We're always late. <laughs> We're Spaniards. Ten fifteen uh, here. And now. Four P. Ten what time? That was at ten o'clock, yeah. Ten o'clock? Well, that's one, so maybe court two, three rounds. Okay, thank you. 
he likes to play tennis. He wants to be number one and, and he's doing the things to, to go there. Today is a very quick practice. Uh, it's not a good sensation, good feeling, because it's very, very fast all. But uh, we work a lot of last week. I think uh, the, the, this tournament is a good opportunity for him because he's played. He's a player with problems handling his game. He's a very hyper player. We even have developed techniques for him to move less quickly, like picking up three balls at once to slow him down. He starts training too fast too quickly, which can be good for some things, but it can be damaging when it's time to warm up. Usually I start very strong. It's good for the body to warm up. But he doesn't like to do that. He is not very progressive. I think he's one of the stronger players in the world for his age. He has demonstrated by competing with players that are higher ranked than him. He can handle the pressure and not many players his age can. Even players with more experience don't handle pressure as well as Rafi does. I love tennis and I'm learning many different and new things. All I try to do is give my best, play well, stay positive, and continue to get better. Rafi is faster than most players, faster than his head, also faster because of his youth. Every day he learns something new, he doesn't think like all the players or handle losing in the same way. For him, everything is new. This is the first time he's been at this tournament. Everything is a new sensation, well, like a kid with a new toy. Attack it, attack it. You should do it twice as fast, that's what I think. I was trying to keep up with you when you hit the ball. On my backhand? When you hit that shot and someone hits into the middle, don't try to do a backhand, it will go out. He's very mature on the court. Not only that, it's very easy to talk with him off the court, comment on his game and explain things. He likes to play tennis, not to do, you know, many things, and, but with the people, he reacts normal. He's, he's a little bit shy, but, you know, it's normal. He's 17 years old, and he, but he understands why the people come to him and say, congratulations, you are the best. He understands, and the reaction is good. And I think what helps a lot is, you know, his uncle was a soccer player and was very famous, and in, 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 in the past, he saw that before. So, and then I think this is good also, you know, he, when he was young, he saw that, and maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe inside he was thinking, one day I want to be like this, you know, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Well, I like soccer as much as tennis. I played soccer until I was 12. My uncle played for Barcelona for nine years. I believe he's played three World Cups, and he's been a great, world-famous player. As a family, we get along really well. What I know is that he wants to be number one, and and he's doing the things to, to go there. You never know, because to be number one, it's tough, but he's working for that. I know Carlos very well. He's a great person even outside the game of tennis. For us, he's been great. He's a terrific example for Rafael, and he's a player that Rafi trains and plays with in Mallorca, which makes things easier for us. I mean, both hold pressure well in matches. I work with both Carlos and Rafi since they've been young, and I'm proud they have that in common. He is one of the best players in the world, a great guy, and it's been very important because we've been able to train in Mallorca together. They are very different the way they train. Carlos plays in a more analytical way, but moves with great core sense and has great ability. And Carlos has been number one in the world. I get along very well with the Spaniards. With Carlos, I have a great relationship because I've known him for so long.
Good. We have finished training. Let's walk around and find something to eat. Let's go. I'm a bit scared by the dolphins. I've been told nothing will happen, but the respect should always be there. Over this way. It changed so much, all these restaurants. We're lost. I thought we could eat upstairs, but let's go further on. Let's see what's on the menu. We're about to eat, and I'm starving. Normally in Spain, I eat olives as an appetizer before the main course. I really like them. When I'm at home, I always eat them. I've gotten sick before, but I think my stomach has gotten used to it. We'll see. It's necessary to understand what an athlete eats. It's very important. They need a balance of carbohydrates, pasta, and drinks. An athlete depends on what he eats. Well, we finished eating, and I'm a little full. But we're going fishing soon, and I'm really excited. Now, I was just coming off the dance floor, and there was this really nice girl. I asked her if she wanted to dance, so I say, come on, give me a kiss. And she says, see you later. So I say, a kiss from me would be a lot better than a kiss from you. <laughs> Just like that, and she goes, okay. And she kisses me twice. So I started dancing with her. Man, is it worth all that trouble just for a kiss? No. Look at that guy. You can run more. What's running? I mean, if you're not running for 50% of your shots. If I keep playing like this, in a year's time, I'll be winning more easily. Because I'll be more... Sure, you'll have play more matches. No, no, I'll be certain I'd win. Now, I'm not as sure, so I keep speeding up. Just have to try running more. You'll know what's going on right from the first set. If you're in the front pool to do the peg shake, you have to swim out into the water just a little bit. You have to turn, you have to face your trainer, and then you stick your arm all the way up into the air, and the dolphin comes, and you'll shake it, smile, <laughs> let go, and the dolphin will swim away. I do like pets, but I don't have any at home. This is the first time I've done anything like this. Well, let's see what happens. I'm a bit scared by the dolphins. I've been told nothing will happen, but the respect should always be there. Good ride. Fishing, I like a lot, <laughs> and I hope fish a big, a big fish. <laughs> Where is the captain? <laughs> Just keep reeling. Big, big, yes, yes, yes. big one. Life is not 
not only the, the tennis, and it's important to enjoy the life. And fishing is one on, of my best hobbies, hobbies, and go to fish. My biggest fish, I don't know, I want here. Why do I like fishing? Well, I think that apart from the actual fishing itself, it's the peace and quiet of being out at sea. I like it a lot. The peacefulness of being out there alone, I don't know. I think it's something different. Generally in Miami, we, uh, we do a lot of live bait fishing, a lot of light tackle. I'm going to take a look at these fish. Carlos, you should check this out. We catch a lot of sailfish this time of year. And uh, a variety of other game fish. Dolphin, kingfish, wahoo, snapper. Look how many rods he has. One, two, three, four, five, six. That? The uh, NASDAQ's really good to us, you know? A lot of people are in town, a lot of people moving around, people going fishing, you know, it does good for the economy. As you saw before, we got the pilchards in the cast net. We'll chum these out here, you know, 20 at a time and try and get the tunas or the sailfish to come up. They're attracted by the chum, come up and eat one of our baits. We're gonna have a competition, Carlos and me, I think. No? I'm sure that he's, he can, if, if we play tennis, he can beat me easy, but here I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I don't wanna talk too bad, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch the biggest fish. Everything is perfect here. Yeah, but it would be good to get down there and fish. All right, guys, let's go fishing. You shouldn't pull too hard on that thing. Don't pull on it too hard. Why not? You'll see. Keep it up, man. Don't pull on it. In order to fish, it is necessary to have enough patience. There are times the fish won't get caught. You have to wait. And at this moment, that's what's happening. We're working on it. Get patient. Give us a little more time. It all happens in seconds. When it happens, it happens fast. Just keep reeling. It's one big, one big, one big, 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 big one. No, it's a little fish. No, it's not a little. Come on. It's, it's small. Yeah, but take it. Yeah, but take it. My first time, my first time in Miami, and I, I only stay two days now in here. No? But for the moment, yes, I like because the water, the, it's a good tournament, no? good place. Well, we're done fishing. The truth is, we didn't have much luck. But well, the important thing is that we had a good time. I'm grateful I had the opportunity to go in the boat and try and catch something, although it didn't really work out. Most of all, I enjoyed the trip on the boat, as this was my first time in Miami. Well, I'll see you on the courts. Well, a quite astonishing win by a young man whose progress is so fast, so rapid. Well, 
You know, my dream, just like for any other player, I suppose, is to make it to the top of tennis and one day become number one, which is the very best you can do. For the time being, I have to keep working hard. And so far, I've achieved pretty good results. I just have to keep on improving my game. When you stop improving, you give up. So I'm concentrating on that at the moment.